Hi, I'm Zin. In today's video, I want to show you the quick solution how to fix the common um, error when you're moving your website to the new hosting. Uh, for example, like I have my client website here, and when I after moving the website, I saw the the arrow. Uh, like when you click the edit quick elementor here, you see it's not showing the develop builder for elementor it show the arrow uh, with the message is your website link and temporary down and have moved to permanently to the new web address and the code arrow is this one and i will show you how to fix it really quick and easy so let's do it together the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 so now I am in the back end of the website and to fix the arrow you need one plugin you need to go to the plugin add new then search WB XT Access Editor so the plugin I already installed and activate I just want to show you the plugin image here you can see on the screen here. So to access the plugin, you go to the setting and to the plugin WP Active Access Editor right here because I already activate. So after go to the plugin, we need to click understand and about the editor here. So to make sure like you find the code here you find exactly the code right here in your ht access and then you go base the code i give you in the link below so click to the link and copy the code and find exactly the the same the same code here and you just copy the code I gave you and put in the end like this so after finish everything click save change uh, let me show you another plugin can help you access HD access uh, is WB management uh, so let's go to the plugin add new and search file manager So make sure you download file manager by this author here. Uh, if you download something like this author, like they have file manager here, but uh, this author is different from here. So make sure you download from this guy uh, because like, they will show the XT access in the file manager. I try another one, but they didn't show anything. Uh, so let's install. then activate so after you activate the file manager you can see they showing in the left side here click file manager and now you can see uh, in file manager I see the active asset right here so you can right click you code editor here and the same you copy the same the code I gave you in the link below and and put it here so make sure you find exactly the code above here just on here to here uh, to see the exactly the code here and you can put the code below that and save so after you save you can is it and right now we come back to the front page click edit with elementor and you can see everything is fixed and now you can work with your elementor again 
thank you for watching the video and I hope the method will help you solve the problem if you have and I'll see you in my next video thank you